Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Disney Springs and we are gonna be trying the new cookies of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse. And I'm so excited because they have two cookies of the month this month and I hear the flavors are incredible. And then we're gonna walk around, explore the springs a little bit, do some shopping and have dinner at a pirate's dinner adventure, a pirate dinner show. And I am so excited to show you guys this. So let's eat some food, explore the springs and have have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day today in Florida. It's hard to believe that October is just a couple of days away and we're in the fall season. Pretty soon we're gonna be heading into winter, but look at how beautiful it is out here. Amazing. I know that I'm a little late for my monthly cookie update, but I was on the West Coast making some videos and I had so much fun out there. Uh, my video I made in Hollywood exploring the Hollywood area is one of my favorite videos and we'll talk about that later on actually in the video. I want to sit down and discuss some future plans with you, but right now I just want to get to the cookie business. On top of coming out to Gideon's for the new cookie of the month, I also want to get some of the food that they put together to help celebrate Hispanic Latin Heritage Month. And some of the spots, like the Polite Pig, has a uh, chicken uh, tortilla soup and then a couple of other spots. So I'm sure we'll be trying some of the amazing food they got. It looks like the line to get into Gideon's is pretty long. I can't tell if there's a virtual queue or if it's a standby, but I would say that that line's probably about uh, 30 minutes long. What do you think? About 30 minutes long? I am so excited to take you guys to the pirate dinner show. I've never been before and I love dinner shows like medieval times where you sit in an arena and the pirate one looks really cool because there's this gigantic pirate ship in the middle of the arena and you sit around while they put on a show and uh, it looks really amazing. So I can't wait to try the food and see uh, all the different pirates and I think it's a Halloween one so they might incorporate vampires. And here is the new menu for the month of September at Gideon's Bakehouse. And like I mentioned, they have two cookies this month. And that's because we have two characters on the front. You've got Stuart and Bonnie. Bon Bonnie, got your own cookie. And we've seen these characters before in the past, but we've never seen them together. And the cookies of the month are right here. We've got uh, the orange pecan chocolate chip and then the lemon poppy crumb cookie. And each one of those cookies, the orange pecan chocolate chip is for Stuart and the lemon poppy crumb cookie is for Bonnie and they also have the orange uh, mocha nitro cold brew so I'm gonna get both cookies and the coffee luckily there's no virtual queue today but it is about a 30 minute wait so we're gonna hop in line and uh, I'm excited both of the I love lemon poppy seed cookies the lemon poppy seed they had last year but this one is a new and improved recipe so it's gonna be like trying something for the first time and here are the cookies. Look at that. We got the lemon poppy seed right here. Look at the bottom of that cookie. Oh, it looks so good. And then we've got the orange chocolate chip and it's got pieces of orange candy right on top there. And then the orange uh, uh, mocha coffee cold brew. All right, let's get into these cookies here. First, I'm going lemon poppy seed. Look at this. This is such a huge cookie. And of course, you guys know we're gonna have to break. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to break the cookie, you know? I always think it's funny because sometimes when I say, and that's how the cookie crumbles, I'm referencing a movie. So let me know what movie you guys, uh, if you know what movie I'm talking about. But this is the way, and that's how the cookie crumbles. Look at that. Wow. That is going to be good. This lemon poppy seed cookie might be one of my all-time new favorites. I know I say that almost every time. Nothing will top the banana bread for me, but this is so good. The lemon isn't like that fake tasting lemon. It tastes amazing. I love it. Now I can't wait to dive into this one, but that one, it's gonna be hard to beat, but I'll let you know which one I like more. Here we go. Now it's time for the Stewart, but Bon Bon, your cookie was good. Bonnie was amazing. I think that's the one that they have because this one's the orange one, so it's got to be Stewart. But I'm, I'm never gonna be able to eat all these cookies. Look at look at this. They're massive. I kind of want another one though. I want another bite of this. I snuck it. Okay, now it's time to get to the orange chocolate chip. 
and uh, we're gonna break this open. Look at the orange candies I was talking about. There's a lot of them on there, but here we go. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Look at that. Here we go. Mmm. It's crazy because when you first bite into this, you immediately go chocolate chip. And then out of nowhere, you get hit with this citrus blast that just tastes so good. The combination is like orange chocolate. You know what I mean? The combination is amazing. But I would have to go with the lemon poppy seed. That is honestly, it was one of my favorite cookies. I put it at number two. It's right behind the banana bread one. That is that. That is how good it is. But now we gotta try the coffee, and then I gotta wrap this up because I'm gonna take them home. And uh, this is the uh, the orange mocha coffee that's matching the cookie. So we're gonna try the combination bite. Sometimes you just need a little uh, cookie with your coffee, <laughs> and it, it it actually goes well when they're uh, both the same flavor. These are both the same flavor, so. The coffee is definitely not one of my favorites. The pumpkin is one of my favorites. I feel like I should have got the pumpkin and then the lemon one and tried the combination there. But uh, the orange on orange, it's okay. It's okay, like it's not bad, but there's so many other great combinations you could do. And uh, yeah, now I think that's enough for the cookie business. All right, enough with the cookie business. I wanna keep moving along, and I wanna go over to the Polite Pig because they added soup to the menu. I am a huge soup guy, I love soup, and when I found out that one of my favorite restaurants has soup, I knew I had to come out and try it. And then I wanna go around and explore more of the springs and maybe do some shopping, a couple of other desserts, and kinda just hang out. On top of them having soup now, they also have a chef special that's celebrating Hispanic Latin Heritage Month, and it's a smoked half chicken. Look at this. And I hear it's kind of spicy, so I'm a little nervous at getting it, but I want to try it. Look at that. This looks so good. And the soup. So I think we're going to get this and the soup. Wow, take a look at this smoked chicken here, guys. This is 20, I think it was like $22, but that is a lot of food. Holy, it's a whole half of a chicken, I feel like. It is a half of a chicken. And then you got the rice under there. This looks amazing. I'm afraid it might be a little spicy though. It looks like it's spicy, but we'll find out. I'm not the biggest fan of spicy things, and it's kind of funny because I didn't even know this chicken uh, was on the menu. I thought the soup was the special, but uh, I got them both. I mean, I mean the soup is the special, but uh, this is like the special special. Just look at this chicken tortilla soup, though. Look at this. Oh, look at the corn in there, the chicken. This is going to be amazing. Actually, you know what? Let's start with the soup. Soup first, just the way it's meant to be, and then we'll dive into the chicken. Can't pass up a good soup anywhere. Mm. That is so good, and it's not that spicy. The poblamo really isn't hitting like so hard, and I could eat, I could definitely get this in a bowl version. This was only six dollars for this little cup, but you do get a lot. You got some pickled onions, some fresh avocado in there. It's good, I like it a lot. I think I'll get it again. It would be amazing if they actually added this to the menu and made it a side. Like, how cool would that be? You can get this on a butcher board. But it's time to get to the uh, chicken now. And uh, I think I'm going to start with the leg. Oh, oh, look at that. They cut it up. I thought I was yanking the leg off there, but it's already cut up apart. I feel like this one is going to be hotter than the soup, like spicier wise. So, oh, I should have got a drink. Oh. Man, I don't have a drink. Oh well, we're going in for it. So here we go. The smokiness in this dish is so good. I'm definitely gonna remember it. It is, the flavor is packful. I think I need to get a little bit of uh, some of this rice and I think this is like a, a pineapple chutney it looks like maybe. Yeah, add a little bit of sweetness to it. The spice is like creeping up a little bit but nothing that I can't handle so far. So I'm lucky there. But I feel like we need to find, we need to bite it. We need to have a little bit of everything on one bite to really give it the full experience. As I keep talking, the spice keeps on creeping in a little bit more, but <laughs> I'm powering through, I'm powering through. Uh, I wanna grab some of the chicken now. I'm gonna grab some of the rice, a little bit of everything. 
get some of that skin on there. There we go. There we go. A little bit of everything in one bite. This chicken reminds me of one of my all-time favorite barbecue pits up in the Poconos. It was called uh, Kunla's. Kunla's, uh, and I think it was in Goolsboro or... Maybe it was in Mount Pocono. I'm not too sure. It was up in Pennsylvania. But it was one of my favorite barbecues, and they closed down. Uh, but now the Polite Pig's my favorite barbecue. And this chicken tastes just like the chicken they used to serve there. Just with a little spicy kick to it. And uh, I love it. The portion, though, is insane. For 20 I think it was, I, I lost my receipt. It was like $23 for this huge half a chicken with a pile of rice. And, uh, yeah, it's good. It's solid. If you're here uh, for the rest of the uh, Hispanic Latin Heritage Month, definitely swing by and try it. All right, it's time to keep moving along, but the food at the Polite Pig is always good. I love going there. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you know it's one of my favorite restaurants. And now it's time to make my way over to Sprinkles to uh, get Gracie her pupcakes, our Disney Springs tradition. Fall into magic at Disney Springs. Yo, Gracie is going to be so happy. I went to go get some pupcakes from Sprinkles and they were out of their boxes. So they brought me this little brown bag and I was like, wow, what's inside here? Look at this. She got so many pupcakes. Look at these little things. Oh, I can't wait to go home and give her one. All right, the pupcakes have been uh, obtained and it's time to head home. I'm gonna give Gracie her pupcake and then uh, we're gonna go out to get some dinner and explore uh, the city a little bit. If it isn't my favorite little princess, Gracie, look at you, what are you doing? You want a pup cup? I got you a pup cup. Huh? You want this? Oh yes, I know. Here you go, I'll lay it right here. There you go. Yo, she's so funny with these pup cups. She loves them. Gracie loves those little pup cakes, and I always go back and forth calling them pup cakes or pup cups because of the little tiny pup cups you can get at Starbucks. But uh, yeah, she loves those, and now I decided to take her to the park because we have a little time before we have to go to our dinner later tonight, and I'm so excited to go to the pirate dinner adventure. Right now, they're doing a Halloween version of it, so it's like vampires, vampires, like all one word. And uh, I've never seen any of these shows before, but uh, I like like I said, I like I like dinner shows, so uh, we'll check it out. And they invited me out, so I kind of feel fancy, and uh, I get to show you guys and give you guys the rundown of the show. I brought some of Gracie's dog toys with me. Got a little pumpkin spice latte, and then a lightsaber. Look at her sitting here, like a precious little girl. I don't know which one she wants to play with first. Probably the pumpkin spice latte. Oh, <laughs> oh, maybe she wants a lightsaber. Wait, uh, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Get it! What are you doing? You lost it, you crazy! And she's going back for the pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Woo! Now that Gracie got her pup cup and we went out for a nice little walk, it's time to make our way over to the pirate dinner adventure. I had to change out my clothes and I didn't have a pirate Roosevelt shirt, so instead I wore a Godzilla one because that makes sense. And we have made it to pirate's dinner adventure. Look at that. There's an actual big pirate at the entrance. There's another pirate over here too. This guy looks a little bit meaner though. Look at this guy. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm excited. It looks really cool, and the restaurant's big. And remember, I was telling you before, they have like a pirate ship in there, and it's in water. So I'm excited to head on in. This is about uh, 10 minutes from Disney Springs, right off International Drive. Right there is International Drive. In fact, the brand new uh, theme park, Epic Universe, is uh, going right over there, right next to this place. So this place is going to be very busy. It is starting to get dark out. I'm sure to you guys it feels like this is a, like a very short amount of time, but in, like in reality, uh, I was at Disney Springs at around 11 a.m. this morning, and now uh, it's around 7.15. So like it's been a long day, and uh, it's time to head on in, and I'm excited to see what this is gonna be like. I'm gonna go over some of the details before we actually get settled in, but uh, so far it's looking pretty cool. 
Welcome to Pirates Town. So far, I'm impressed with the theming on the outside of this building. Look, there's a little uh, boat right there. Like the theming on the outside is actually amazing. Is that a whole pirate ship up there? Wow, I think there's a big pirate ship on the outside. Then they got some cannons, a skeleton. This is fancy. This is normally a pirate's dinner show, but because it's the Halloween season, they're doing a special show called Vamp Pirates. And uh, I'm kind of excited to check it out. And they gave me a coupon code uh, in case you guys want to come because they invited me out, so thank you to them. But they gave me a coup uh, coupon code where you get 25% off. Look at that. It's uh, Vamp 2023, and I'll put it in the description in case you guys want to check it out. And uh, it's just regular food. I think you choose between chicken and pork. And then they have bars on the inside there and the prices vary uh, but I'll put a link all so you can check it out and I think we're gonna head in now like I mentioned on the outside I'm impressed with all the theming in here and uh, it continues on actually once you get into the restaurant look at please wait to see your hostess and everything's like pirate theme like the maps and everything they have a bunch of shops where you can buy swords and get drinks they even have one of those cash uh, machines there. Look at that. This is all funny. Wow, there's a lot happening in here. It's, a, it's really cool. There's a Buccaneer bar over there. And then, oh yeah, this is the way. We're gonna make our way into the main dining room area. It's right through there. Look at this. I'm gonna keep going, might as well. Wow. Holy moly. Hurry on, Travis. Huh. Adventure is ahead of you. No time to waste. Keep moving. I am Neptune, god of the sea. Welcome, travelers. Adventure awaits. This place is huge. Look at this. There's a giant pirate ship right in the middle of the theater. And there's also seating on that side over there. This looks so cool. I feel like this show is gonna be amazing. Like I am so pumped and we have like really good seats too. Look, is this a boat? Wow, there's gonna be so much happening here. I'm actually very excited. Oh, you get right down in the water here. Oh yeah, I can smell that bromine. Smells good. They keep the water clean here. It's good to know. Look at this though. It's giving me the Goonies vibes. I'm joining up with some friends. Kristen's got Caesar salad. Very fancy. Oh, and uh, the pirates are coming out. The pirates are coming. Or oh, there's the, the vampires. The vampires. The vampires are here. The vampires are here. Is that a vam pirate? Oh wow. Piss off! They want you to talk to me. Get that green pirate out of here. Oh! Pirates creed. There be wine and women, the sword of a knight, to live for adventure. Tis a pirate's life. <laughs> I believe in you. Cheer me on, please. Make us proud, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, it is Princess Anita herself. Oh! What's up in the air? Shake it and bow.
Samson, you might not want to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't listen. Yeah. Oh. Look at them. They're all going up there. The setup was for a blood sacrifice. Do they know this? <laughs> we are done here today the pirate dinner adventure was very unique it's definitely a good tourist attraction uh, like I said it's right off International Drive there some of my favorite things about the show were uh, the pirates swinging from the ropes it was really cool I love the set the displays I loved walking through there I don't know why I was just kind of mesmerized the food wasn't the best I mean the food was okay but I feel like if you go to a lot of those shows like the food is never really that good you're there to pay for the entertainment it's a dinner and a show you know what I mean um, but uh, yeah it was kind of it was kind of cool I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out and thank you to them for inviting me out I'd like to do stuff like that because it gives me a chance to show some of the local spots in the area and also uh, gives me a chance to uh, film something different and unique you know uh, but uh, yeah well, I think we're all done for the night and uh, uh, done with the video we're back
back in Florida for uh, uh, an extended period of time. I'm not traveling anywhere uh, for at least until October. Uh, so uh, I'm excited for that. I am going to be going to New York in October, though. I'll be at uh, New York Comic Con, so I'm excited. That's going to be a fun trip. And uh, yeah, a couple more adventures down the road. Uh, I did really love my Hollywood video and my Disneyland video. If you guys didn't notice, uh, I did have to split up my trip. I actually made four videos in California. I did Oogie Boogie Bash, I did uh, uh, Tiana's, I did the Disneyland Hotel in Hollywood, and uh, I was so jet lagged uh, because we did so much. I did that, that whole week was so busy for me. I did Universal Studios Orlando, Halloween Horror Nights. I left there at 2 a.m. I hopped on a flight the next morning, flew to California, and started my trip there. And I honestly was just on the go, living life, like loving it. It was so cool. And spending the night in the Hollywood Hills, that was my favorite time. And then that amazing room we had in the Disneyland Hotel, it was good. But we're done with the West Coast videos for a little bit. We're back on track. We got our Gideon's cookies and a couple of other things that are happening around the park. Maybe Epcot tomorrow and Magic Kingdom. You know, we got to get them all. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.